Okay, so let's just have a quick look at the anatomy of a gate. So if I've got this gate focused and I hold down Alt and my right mouse button, I can rotate around it. So some things to note. It's got like little arrows on it, and these are designed on some gates, but not all gates, because it's not easy to put arrows on some of the gates. Uh, but on most gates, you'll find that there are arrows pointing in the direction that they're supposed to be orientated. So you're supposed to fly through this gate from the left over here to the right. And this little pad here is if you were to crash after flying through this gate, this is where you would get reset to. And that's why the gates are directional, because you want to be reset here, pointing away from the gate. So you need to know what direction the gate needs to point. Now, if you wanted to be going through, if you wanted to be going the other direction on this gate, the other way, then you would rotate it the other way, like so, and now you would fly right to left through this gate, and if you crash, you'd be reset here, pointing that direction. So that's the reason why the gates have arrows on them, and the little pad is the reset point that if you were to crash after going through that gate, this is where you'll get reset to. Now obviously you can cause problems that if you were to sink this into the ground like that, if you reset now, you would reset your quad under the ground and this gate would no longer function in a race effectively because you would be resetting players under the ground and they wouldn't be able to get back up through the ground, they would hit it and crash again. So you need to be careful to make sure that when you place gates, you make sure that the reset point is clear and able to be reset to. And when we reset to this point, we actually reset in a circle around it with up to seven quads. So you need to be careful that there is enough space around this reset point and that it isn't you know, obstructed in some way. Okay, and that's pretty much the anatomy of a gate. Um, we also have these bounding boxes on here that tell you how big the gate is and they can be quite good to work out where the ground is because you can see that the bounding box you can see it here disappears just as you go below the ground like so so that's now perfectly placed on the ground